The story of cosmetics in Morocco is rooted here, in the mountains of the south, where gold grows on the region's argan trees. Join us on a journey to discover the secrets of beauty and more about the cosmetics industry. In the suburbs of Agadir, the first steps are taken in the production of one of the most expensive vegetable oils in the world. Vitamin-rich argan oil is known for its benefits in nourishing the skin. Dubbed the tree of life, it has considerable health benefits and also protects against desertification and bolsters the economy whilst empowering women in rural regions. Working in Argan has an important economic aspect. It is how they earn a living. It represents almost 80% of women's and families' incomes in rural areas. And if you ask these women about it, they are happy and proud to have their part to play in women's beauty care all over the world. Morocco produces 4,000 tonnes of Argan oil every year, a third of which is exported, mostly for large global beauty brands in Europe. The Industrial Acceleration Plan in Morocco aims to increase the annual production to 10,000 tonnes by 2020, thanks to 800,000 hectares of argon forests. Here in Marrakesh, other local plants form the basis of a whole host of treatments and products. Pharmacist Khaled Bitar told me there are thousands of plants in Morocco used to innovate new cosmetics. Among the sought-after Moroccan plants is the damask rose. Its oil is extracted via distillation and used in many compositions in cosmetics and perfumery. But despite the increasing interest in aromatic and medicinal plants from local laboratories, there are still big challenges ahead for the Moroccan cosmetics industry. I think that Morocco has a lot of potential to be a major exporter of valued products. Morocco has 4,200 species of aromatic plants, but they're exported in the raw state. There's no real valorization of the products coming out of our national soil. We stopped in the Atlas Mountains where Gasoul is gathered. It's a unique stone favoured by local women for generations as a beauty treatment. Jor Hanid has developed a new technique to use its mineral composition for moisturising. Gasoul is a unique Moroccan clay in the world. It is a saponiferous rock that allows for the formation of foam. So we developed a process after scientific research which allows us to extract this foam and to formulate different products suited to different skin and hair types. After an extensive process of discovery from different Moroccan cities, now it's time to set off and see how the cosmetic products will reach the US market. In Las Vegas, Cosmoprof North America brings together retailers, distributors, beauty brands and suppliers alike to discover the latest trends and in innovative products. Participating for the first time in one of the largest business-to-business -business beauty trade shows is a crucial opportunity for Morocco to showcase its cosmetics in such a competitive market. The most difficult part is to invest in marketing. There is a high competition, and we need to make the reason why they should buy Moroccan products. You have a great packaging, you, you can sell your products better in a better way. But in the world's largest cosmetics market, having a great product to sell is not enough. Networking is key to meeting new partners interested in products from Morocco. I think that the ingredients that they have in the Moroccan culture is richer and of a finer quality because of their rich heritage of coming from different cultures and it's just all coming into one place. I think it just creates a very culturally relevant uh, line of product that I haven't seen before. So I thought that that'd be a really interesting people to start doing business with. 